Okay, oh, yeah, so we are using the Craig uh, pocket hole driller. And I thought I was I said I was gonna make a video for this. I got it a while ago. Finally, I'm gonna be making a little table here. Um, so we're gonna be demonstrating how to use this thing. So first off, you wanna measure uh, the wood that you are drilling through. So this little, comes this handy little device here, and it's like, okay, uh, what's your uh, depth of the wood? So you just put this the little L part on there, and it's one half, um, three quarters, one inch, or one and a half. So I put it at one and a half inch, so that's where it's at right here. Okay, and now, It's got this uh, drill bit it comes with, and so um, it has these three little spots on here, so half inch, three quarters, and one and a half inch. So with the little tool that you got to measure with, you can take that Allen key and adjust this, and it has this little round um, area, and just move it over the, uh, the one that indicates what it is. So one and a half inch is what we're drilling through, so that's where we go to on the thing. Tighten it down, put with your Allen key, make it sure it's nice and tight, and there you go. Okay, next step is I'm drilling a couple holes that are going into the side here. So um, I thought, because the directions, well, I didn't really understand the directions, that, okay, I'm drilling into, say, this piece of wood here, then I want to measure here off the edge, but no, you don't. So this last part is, for this part, is you have these... Um, here for half inch, three quarters, and one and a half inch. And these are just little uh, templates here that are adjusted by pushing this, and you can slide it to the desired one. And where it's going to be is that little um, gray part's going to be full there. So clicks into place, and I don't know why it wants to focus on the two by four there, but it'll have that the area filled to where you need to uh, put it at, set it at. So we're setting it at an inch and a half here. Okay, so next step is. do is I'm going to be drilling a couple holes in here because these are going in the legs on either side. So place your, um, I'm going to be doing two pocket holes. This thing has is together. You can adjust it if you want to take it apart. So you want to set it in the middle of your wood. Make sure that the little ends here, it uh, brushes up on that. And then you want to clamp it. So I'm just using these quick grips and the sawdust uh, comes out of these holes here. You don't want to block those holes, but you can uh, grip it anywhere else. And I'm trying to just basically get it centered on the wood wherever. So it's mostly centered right there. Okay, we've got a nice tight grip on there. I'm going to take my um, drill, and I'm just using my impact driver to do this. Okay. So make sure that's clamped on there good. And you just want to stick it in the hole here. Just go all, all the way to the stop there. Okay, just like that. That's all there is to it. Undo your grip. And you get nice two uh, pocket holes. So it doesn't have, the hole doesn't come out here on the end. And then it gives you this nice uh, long um, uh, tightener as well. Tightener. Um, extension for uh, putting those in there. So these are the kind of screws it comes with. These are have a nice flat edge there. So that's going to butt right up on the pocket and hold it tight. And it has these square, um, the square, uh, man, what is it? Uh, holes or whatever, I guess. So, so this fits right in there. And then basically we're just going to put that in between there. Clamp this. Um, you want a nice good clamp on there when you screw it in. And then just screw those right into there. And it makes a very solid, um, really solid uh, hold there. So... So this just will just go in there like this. Just screw it in there. Okay. So it's as easy as that. If you're using um, just those steps, measure your wood, set your pieces, and then clamp it on there, and you're good to go. 
really, and the pocket holes are super strong. Plus, um, it's hidden, so you don't see, you don't really see the, um, the screws poking out or anything like that. You can, you can put some, some wood putty over there and sand it, and it disappears if you want to do that. So, uh, super strong um, joint. It makes also, you can put some wood glue in between here when you do it and screw them together even better. But, uh, yeah. So, super happy got to set this up and I'm making a little table here. I'll make a video on that as well. So, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.